Good afternoon, YouTube community. This is your boy, Ghost84. Just wanted to do a couple unboxing with you guys, as well as a couple pack rips. So this first one is going to be from the homie Steve W. He was actually on the YouTube channel Marvel Madness MCU the other week, doing a case break of the 2022 Marvel Masterpiece done by Dan DeSantos. And he actually gave away basically all of his purples. And those purples are numbered to 199 and one that I got is going to be numbered 66 out of 199. Electro! Let's go! And it looks awesome. Wow. Too cool. You can find Steve over at his Instagram, Steve doing S H I T, as well as Marvel Madness MCU. This next package is going to be from the homie Lewis. You can find him over on Instagram and YouTube at Alonzo underscore collectibles. A couple weeks ago, they had a sale claim auction giveaway night. Typically every other weekend or so, they do a uh, stream. And I ended up picking up these bad boys. This first one, Wolverine. And a hollow foil. Got a six. I really don't care what the grade is. It just looks awesome in a slab. Freaking awesome. The art on this is freaking insane. And if you've never seen the original art, the reason why he's kind of posed like that is because the original has arrows in his back. Second slab that I got is going to be our boy Captain America and a nine. Let's go. So these ones aren't numbered or anything. There's 20 different styles. This one being numbered one of 20. But wow, these look awesome. Wow, too cool. Maybe I'll set that guy up there. I'll set the other homie right here. All right, so next packages. These are going to be from Character Case Breaks off of eBay. I think right now they're just doing like inner cases. This is from the set Marvel Platinum that came out probably about a month, maybe a month and a half ago now. I'll typically pick up like between like four or five different characters for this one. Wow. This one's going to be the homie Onslaught. A little base card. And then I did get a numbered card. This one's... A teal wave numbered at 799, 231 at 799. Awesome. And then this is also from the same business. Same thing, inner case. So eight boxes of Marvel Platinum. They actually broadcast it on YouTube, which is kind of cool. You can follow along and stuff. All right, so it looks like a quite a few base cards. And then we got some rainbows. So we got a red rainbow, a blue rainbow. That one looks really nice. And then the hit actually got a card numbered at 399 so this one's numbered 65 at 399 yellow spotlight fairly confident I got this one but couldn't hurt to have them all awesome all right so that goes for the unboxing uh, the next is gonna be box rips so end up getting a little bundle Nine boosters. It's gonna be a set that came out probably about a month ago from Magic the Gathering. It's called Outlaws of Thunder Junction. Got some cool art in here. I haven't bought any of this set, but I do enjoy the Wild West. It's kind of cool. Look at this guy on the back. 
pretty wicked. Pretty cool. There he is. I like the little collector box looks like. I believe we're going for value. There's a card called Tiny Bones. It's supposed to be like the main hit. I don't know if it's just because he's super rare to pull. It's actually pretty cool too. Got a little 20 die or 20 sided die. It's got some glitter on the inside. Pretty dope. Alright, so it looks like we get. This is kind of cool. Some full art lands. Well, I'm not quite sure what that is. Is that a rare? Oh, it kind of looks like a rare. For the color scheme of how you can tell common to uncommon, rare, the colors go black as a common. I guess it'd be like a gray white would be an uncommon gold will be a rare and then red symbol is going dang these actually feel pretty thick um mythic rares are going to be red again first time opening this so this should be pretty fun I kind of want to just go uh, straight to the hit, but we'll enjoy these. I'll make sure we can see the artist name too. <laughs> I'm more or less looking at the description of the card rather than the artwork just so I can see how well it can be played too. So this one would be your uncommon. All right, so this is gonna be our rare card, hence the little gold symbol. Three steps ahead. Choose one or more additional costs. It's pretty neat. And I'll go back through and I'll sleeve these up. Uncommon. I believe in every pack you get a foil. This one we got an uncommon foil. Then we got a land. Oh man, that's cool. All right, so this little symbol down here is going to be the four symbol. You can actually see it through all the cacti. It's really neat. Got a little token. We're going to set these right here. Good. Next pack. Pack two. Playing Magic, like out or geez, oh, I, I really haven't played Magic in probably like eight years or so. It's definitely been a long time. There we go, Gold Pan. <laughs> So rare. Tornado, that's kind of cool. Our foil, it's a little common card. Another land card, and a little token. Oh, that's pretty cool. Pack 
three. And then the next stuff I'm going to be unboxing is not Magic the Gathering. I love the art for Magic the Gathering, it's freaking awesome. In the comments below, let me know what type of decks you guys run, if any. I like blue-red, uh, blue-black, green-blue, green-blue-red. <laughs> All right, cool. Got a rare land. So whenever this enters the battlefield, comes in tapped unless I control two or fewer lands oh wow we got a mythic rare molten duplication dope I remember to leave that up right away so these are kind of neat look like little wanted posters uh, the cards aren't messed up that's just how they look like an old wanted poster Got a hollow uncommon. Wow, that's actually pretty good. This creature or this spell costs one less to cast for each creature in your graveyard. Flying whenever it enters the battlefield, any number of target opponents each discard a card for each of those opponents who didn't discard a card with mana four or greater. Draw a card. Nice. Cool little land. Little spirit token. Let me sleeve up this little mythic rare real quick. I love a good artifact deck too. Tiny Bones joins up. Whenever, when Tiny Bone joins up, enters the battlefield, any number of target players each discard a card. Whenever a legendary creature enters the battlefield under your control, any number of target players each mill a card. And lose one life. It's pretty dope. That's kind of cool. Back to back rares. Bad mirror. New blood. I guess they. I guess you get one wanted poster in each one. Oh, slick shot. Oh, cool. A little hollow land. And our little token thing. Looks dope. All right, next pack.
cool card. Treasure. Gosh, the art is freaking awesome. Never a disappointment, that's for sure. poster primal might oh nice we got a rare foil put a mad print run into the middle of them looks like <laughs> and that swamp looks sweet go it's a red mirror of the wilds red green white legendary creature human shaman haste non tokers or non-token creatures you control have tap create a token of that uh create a token that's a copy of target token you control to enter the battlefield this turn dang that's dope Wow. Tyrant Scorn. Rare as a little sheep dude. Only a royal. Gosh, that looks awesome. There's actually a set coming up in June, I believe it is. It's called Modern Horizons 3. Looks pretty cool. I might have to get back in to playing has some Aldrazi characters in it I personally haven't played the new battle style called commander It'd be fun to get into it though all right so this is the second to last pack magic of the mind. Geyser Drake for a foil. <laughs> the land. And a little token art card. <laughs> All right. 
Alright, last pack. Tiny Bones. Cool to get a full art or a full art hollow card too. Holy cow. <laughs> Creature Ox Angel. Oh, wow, that looks cool. Heck, how the heck do you pronounce that? Fib lost on the range. This looks awesome. <laughs> hollow. Nice. No way. Heck yeah, man. Full art hollow. And it's of that. <laughs> Freaking forest, that's awesome. Too cool. Token is a pest. Let me sleep this little guy up. Let's crack into what this thing is. Like I said, it kind of looked like a rare card was in there. I guess you can read the box, see what it comes with. Alt art, the key to the vault. So it is going to be a rare. Maybe the rest of the cards are going to be lands then. Oh, wow. Heck yeah, man. No way. <laughs> are these all holographic? Oh, yeah. Let's go. Yeah, we'll definitely have to run through these. Swamp. Dang. So I believe it's next year. They're going to release Marvel Magic the Gathering. And if I'm not mistaken, I believe Dan DeSantos is going to have some card art in there. And you may know him from Marvel cards. Wow, that mound looks awesome. Be cool to see Dave Palumbo in there too. This is the card we just got. Planes. I wonder if the other one's holographic too. <laughs> so I ended up picking this up for like 53 bucks and to me, a full art land and or just holographic land, I, I love them. I feel like they're two bucks a pop. So to me, I'm up good. I would love to see Dave Palumbo and Dan DeSantos do a land card. Gosh, I really hope they get a chance to do a land card. All right. So I'm pretty sure that these are non-holographic. I'm just gonna keep this one sealed. Cause I'm weird like that. All right, so the next thing we're gonna crack open, it's gonna be something that just came out on the other side of the world, printed in English. Some Pokemon cards. So this guy, I got like a five dollar coupon over at GameStop. So I think I paid like thirty seven after tax. But inside it comes with six packs of cards, some card sleeves, and then this little promo card. So I own no. And then a bunch of these little foiled. 
promos as well. Here are the card sleeves. <laughs> Looks pretty cool. All right, so I guess here's a little token. Can already put it in a little sleeve. Pretty cool looking. Oh yeah, it comes with a little dice too. All right, so the six packs I've opened, maybe, all right, so Temporal Forces, Temporal Force, Paradox Rift, Obsidian Flame. I've opened Obsidian Flame, I've opened Scarlet Violet. I have not opened Lost Origin, so maybe we'll do, and we'll keep them in this order. Starting out with the temporal forces. Got Slugma. Solasis. Sweet looking Scyther. Skitty. I don't know all these dudes' names, so if I butcher the name, sorry, Iron Hands. Some little trainer, Sandy Shocks, Bramblin. I guess that's your reverse hollow. Licky Tongue, also a reverse hollow. Iron Thorns, that looks pretty cool. Got a little water energy, and then a promo card. Pack two, what to do? Again, Temporal Forces. I can't remember. I feel like this set just came out maybe like two months ago. Got Mr. Mime. Raichu. Victini. And then with these ones, commons are circle, diamonds are uncommon, and then the star is your rare. Shaman. So we got iron hands, reverse hollow. Golurk, reverse hollow. And then our rare is Cryodon. I think this is like one of your starting Pokemon. Leaf Energy for the coders. All right, Paradox Rift. Common, or I guess that would be, yeah, common, uh, reverse hollow. And I guess this nimble was reverse hollow too. And then we get a armor rogue EX. Cool little hollow pattern on that. For the coders. Third from the table, it's your Obsidian Flame. I think this is about the time that I exited collecting Pokemon again. It's kind of going hard a little bit. Let's pass. Wick. 
Trainer card. Blossom. Pokemon League Headquarters. A flaunt. Kind of uncommon. Uncommon again. What the heck is this? Obsidian Flames? <laughs> uh, maybe I uh, maybe I left right after before this. I don't know. I don't remember any of these cards. <laughs> Our rare is Claydol. And then for the coders. Alright, Scarlet Violet. Thinking in this one, the chase card is a trainer Miriam. Okay. So uh yeah, there's that. Alright, come on, Scarlet Violet, clutch up. Little scatterbug. Puppet. Spriga Tito. Sanaconda. Trainer. Quaxel. Reverse. Guy like a goat. Ride on as our rare. And then for the coders. All right, last pack magic. I think what we want out of here is a Garatina alt art, which is I think around like a three hundred dollar card um, raw. Got a little Poliwag, Oddish. Growlithe, Sadat, Sidot, Slugma. Oh, nice. Got a Clefable, Reverse Rare. Got a Mimic You. That's cool. I think that was our hit. Little V Star, Blank, Uncommon, Choke. There you go. All right, so that does it. I want to appreciate everybody, or I greatly appreciate everybody stopping in, checking out the VOD, sticking around. If you want, comment, like, subscribe. Thanks again, guys. Have a great day. Bye.